Previously, I have talked about that an I/O operation typically has two steps. One is formatting data, and the second one is communicating data to external devices. Formatting data is the responsibility of a stream class. Then, who is responsible for communicating data to external devices? This is done by stream buffer, which is the internal module of a stream. So, if we do C out thirty four, then C out is responsible of converting thirty four into appropriate format, and then delegate the job of communicating data to its internal module, which is a stream buffer. And we can use a function C out read buff to get a pointer to the internal module of stream buffer. So we can use a stream buff p buff equal to c out dot read buff. So c out is the one that's responsible for formatting the data, and the stream buffer is responsible of ultimately transmitting data to standard out. And if I do a O stream, my C out P buff. So I have created another O stream which has the same stream buffer as C out. In other words, my C out has the same transferring channel as C out. So if I do my C out 34, then 34 will be printed out to stand out. And now if I want to change the format of my C out, my C out dot set F IOS show pause. This will show the positive sign of a number. My C out dot wave twenty, this will send the waves to be 20 and by default the data will be aligned to the right and now if i do my c out 12 will print out something like um, like this 12 but if we do c out 12 and l it will print out something like this so this is useful when I want to temporarily change the format to the standard out, but I don't want to change C out, maybe because somebody else is using C out. Now let's look at a different example. OF stream OF my log.txt. This will open the file of my log.txt for writing. And we if we do C out dot read buff. Note that when this function is taking a parameter, it is assigning a different stream buffer to the stream of C out. So if we do OF dot read buff, then we are assigning the stream buffer of OF to C out. As a result, if we do C out hello this string of hello will go to my log.txt. So my log.txt has hello. This is called redirecting. We are redirecting the standard out to a log file. But you need to be careful that later on if you want to restore C out to its original stream buffer, you cannot do that anymore because the original stream buffer is lost. So a better way to do that is we use a temporary variable to save the original stream buffer. Orig buff equal to C out dot read buff and then later on we can restore it. And now if we do see out goodbye, 
the standard out will have the goodbye. Another way to access the stream buffer is using um, stream buffer iterator, which is a type of iterator. As an example, I as stream buff iterator char I C in. If you have watched my iterator tutorial, you must be familiar with the concept of stream iterator. This is what it is, an input stream iterator. We can define another O stream buff iterator char O C out. So these are two stream iterators. And then we can do while i not equal to x, then o will be equal to i. And then increment o, increment i. This will take everything from input and then echo it out to the standard output until it sees the letter of x. Another way to do that is using the algorithm function copy. I stream buff iterator char C in. So this is the iterator pointing to the start of the input stream buffer. I stream buff iterator char this is a default constructor, it points to the end of the stream buffer. And then O stream buff iterator char C out. This is pointing to the start of the output stream buffer. So this will do the same thing, except that it doesn't have the exit ladder of X. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos I have. See you next time.